Did you know that he can't come? Where? Josh Potter can Cannot. get it up. And, and he can, can ejaculate. And, uh, with a girl. No. Tremendous. That's even better. He wants to. <laughs> he wants to come. He wants to. I want to <laughs> drill a hole in their fucking eyes that they can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. When you're fucking them and their one eyeball is hanging out. Jesus. And they're like, when are you going to come? Because I come quick. Yeah. Uh, I come in a minute. So if I could come in. Right there with you, brother. If I could come in 20 minutes and just keep giving your dick going from pussy to asshole to mouth. <laughs> Back to your fucking Jeez, pussy. Jeez, Joey. Drill it back that's to your That's what you're ass. doing? That's no, what you're but doing? but that's my fantasy. If I couldn't come for an hour, oh, hitting you in the face, making you suck it, <laughs> popping it out and hitting you, you're like confused. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know where you're going? He jerks off. Oh, I'm not where you're going. You want to come after the chicken's laying there? Need a like GPS she for that got bitch. shot in Vegas. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like she's laying there, the one leg is hanging. You know what I'm saying? Her mouth is stretched. She don't want to be there. Her, her asshole. She don't like Joey. It's still open like a dragon's mouth. You know when you fuck him in the ass, the asshole stays open. Uh, do I? And then just laying there drinking milk, trying to recoup and shit. You're giving him like Gatorade. Then yes. you just drink off on the tits and call it a night. There you go, man. When I was younger and I did coke, oh, there was dick for fucking four hours. Yeah. You just were giving out dick. They're looking at you like, when is this going to stop? And then when you do come, it's one of those long loads. Yeah. You ever have those loads? Like, I, I used to I used to be on probation. And there was a dude that was like a G.I. Joe dude that failed the police test. But his assistant was a good-looking woman. Like, I'm kind of scared, but... You, if I was 30, she was like 38. Nobody talked to her in Boulder because she had like a wooden leg. Like her leg was kind oh, of like like that oh leg. no! I think I've so seen some shit like this. Oh there. no! She could suck her cock. I would look oh, in the eyes like right. I tell this bitch is deadly, but nobody talks to her because of the fucking wooden leg or yeah. whatever the fuck she's got. She got shot in Vietnam. I didn't know what happened to her, and she was very nice. I forget what her name was. I'd see her. I'd always flirt with her, but when I was doing and I was in the probation, I figured out how to fuck with the piss test. But with me, they had mirrors around me. They couldn't figure out what I was doing. So they sent her in. So before I would go and I'd fucking do a half a jerk in the car and get my dick nice and big. Yeah. And then I'd sprinkle it the fucking uh, pool cleaner. The pool cleaner. Or the <laughs> Doesn't fucking... sting your dick, the it pool did. cleaner? It did. I got scars. I got little yeah. holes in my dick and uh, Drano. Yeah. I would grind it up. I would fucking put it under my dick and then pull the skin back and it would fall into the piss test and zap it. But before I would piss, I would take the hammer out and show it to her. Like, what do you think? What do you think? There's something nice. And she would look at it and look around the room. And not like I knew I, I was going to end up sleeping with her or swapping spirit with her. Because I flirt with her. Nobody yeah. talked to the woman because she had a fucked up leg. So I'm off probation. I'm delivering Chinese food. I'm slinging coke at the same time at the Chinese restaurant. So I would have to, I would have you call the Chinese restaurant and say, and I talked to Joe. Yeah, what's up? Oh, you want egg drop soup? Whatever. The cocaine would be hidden under the egg drop soup. So that if I got in trouble, the Chinese people got in trouble. I didn't put it in the bag. This was out, when I was out already, out of prison. One night I knock on the door. Who answers? <laughs> Tom. It's her. And she goes, oh, my God, it's so great to see you. How have you been? And I go, it's great to see you. Man, I gave her a hug. And I put the Chinese down. And she goes, what are you doing with your life? I, I, I'm getting divorced. But I got the stand-up comedy, and I'm trying to deliver food to make a living. And she's like, oh, that's so sweet. You, you and her broke up. Oh, you must need a hug. And then I started hugging her. We started swapping spit. And I touched a little monkey. And I could feel nobody had even touched a monkey in like 10 years. Steam started coming. Up. And I started fingering that motherfucker like a savage. And swapping spit with her. <laughs> she don't want to be nice there. Finger. I don't want to be and here. I got a pinky surrounding her asshole. Oh! I working. I finally put it down slowly. And I pop her pants. I take her tit out. She's got one big fucking tit. I'm sucking her tit. <laughs> I'm fucking sm I'm making out with her finger at the same time. So while I'm fingering her, I take her pants down, but I go, I don't want to see what the other leg is. So I took the leg off of the good leg, and I left the fucking bad leg covered because I don't want to know what yeah. it is. If she's got like a pole under there, one of those fucked up feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up a fucking leg, and I started eating that pussy, and the fucking was huge. I'm sucking out it. Like a piece of bubble, oh, why do you do that fact? With her mouth open, I go, now's the time to put the helmet in that fucking mouth. <laughs> so I switched up, I started two finger Louie in her, and I went around her, and I put that fucking hammer in her mouth, and she didn't know what to do. She went, mm, 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 m
was trying to fucking lift weights and shit, so I wasn't jerking off. Because somebody told me not to jerk off, that your protein. I was retarded. Yeah. You know, I'm retarded. Yeah. I'm retarded. And then I came in the mouth. Run that shit back. Trying to fucking lift weights and shit. <laughs> so I wasn't jerking off. Because somebody told me not to jerk off that your protein. I was yeah. retarded. Yeah. You know, I'm retarded. <laughs> yeah. And when I came in the mouth, it was one of those loads, Christine, that don't stop. You ever have one of those things? I know, and Christine. And you're sucking it. You're sucking it with your eyes closed. And then after a minute. <laughs> She's like, fucking kill me now. <laughs> She's like, fucking end my life. <laughs> She's like, why did I sign up for this shit? <laughs> I knew he was coming in today. I should not be on his show. <laughs> He's like, fuck Joey, fuck Tom. <laughs> fuck this podcast. Then you open it up because you're like, when is this going to stop? And I could look at a swallow and it was endless. It was yeah. fucking endless. It was just a load of death. It was like a month and a half of not coming. There was Valium in there and Xanax and fucking. Well, it's okay. nice seeing you, Joey. Thanks for stopping by. She looked at me. She started getting a little dizzy. Oh my God. I was selling Valium at the time. I was selling like 100 milligrams of Valium a night. When I shot in her mouth to put her in a trance, she was glassy eyed. She gave me a $3 tip and I left. And I never saw her again. She must have ate that Chinese food and slept for a week. Oh my God. Do oh. you have any dates coming up? You want to <laughs> you, can, you can still you a feel it. You can still feel what that nut felt like, I bet, right? Oh, it was like a, it was like a three minute. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. You didn't even bang. Anger, you no, know, put it no. in her vagine? No. No. Well, that's, no. That's the was tremendous. Yeah. Oh, okay. I licked her ass. Sorry, I blacked out at some point. I didn't listen sure. closely. Once I shove my tongue in your ass, you black out. It's like, <laughs> it's like you're 14 and your uncle's <laughs> wants to get you. He just black out and let happen what's going to happen anyway. <laughs> I love you love so much, you, Joey. Christine. You lived that load, or else, Sammy, that's why. I did not. It live took you back to college, like I one time. I did not. I did not. You got a bad yeah, you batch of Hungarian dick. I yeah, like Puerto Rican. Yeah, you got a bad batch of those Blancanito sperm where you just kept fucking swallowing, saying this is the worst pina colada I've ever had. <laughs>